disappears into the shade and it is an incredibly beautiful afternoon here in South Africa. My name is Brent Leo Smith and I have my very good friend Brian Joubert on camera with me today and of course he's got his four-leafed clover thumb and the luck is with us. Look at that. We have these incredible leopards. Did I say these? And yes, we do not have but one, we have two of the most elusive creatures in the world and with a very, very cool story happening behind it. But before I delve deeper into it, because I'm sure there are going to be questions about it. Remember, this is 100% live from the middle of the African bush and you are able to ask us questions by using the hashtag Safari Live on Twitter. I'd love to hear from you. Also, let me know where you are watching from. Now this is a mating pair of leopards. Not only are we seeing this incredibly elusive cat, but we're seeing two of them and hopefully we're going to be seeing some action on this safari. Now this female who we've got in frame at the moment, her name is Karula. And you've learned a little bit about Karula. She is the dominant female leopard in this area and uh, one of the stars of Safari Live one of the females whose life we follow day in and day out. And the male we started with is Mr. Tingana, the big boy, the, the, the big daddy around here. He's a massive leopard weighing probably about 200 pounds, double the weight of the female. Let's go have a closer look at him. He's just lying through there. And as you can see, these leopards are so habituated to the presence of our game drive vehicles that they let us get incredibly close to them. Hello, Mr. T. And he hasn't even opened his eyes. Now, this is a really interesting scenario, as I was saying to you. Now, we've got Karula, who's mating with Tingana. They've been mating for about three days now. And Karula has two 10-month-old cubs, Hosanna and Shongile. Normally, she wouldn't be mating this early. The only reason she would be mating this early is if those cubs were killed or disappeared. Now, however, they have not. And that leads me to Michael's question. Michael would like to know, are Hosanna and Shongile okay? And as far as we know, I've heard Hosanna was seen this morning to the south of us. He seems fine. I've had no word on Shongile. So it really, really baffles us at the moment. There could be multiple reasons. Some people think female leopards will come into a false estrus and start mating with a male if they think that their cubs are under threat. I'm not 100% sure this is the situation. She is getting quite old. Krula is nearly 12 now, so she could be, her hormones might start acting a bit differently. This is probably her last or second to last set of cubs. She might have just lost them for a few days and maybe she thinks that they are dead even though they're not. So this is going to be a really interesting thing to watch. At the moment, it's really hot out here. It's about 85 degrees Fahrenheit. So.